Good morning everyone, this is Aussie Legend. Uh, two videos in a row, how good is this? Um, today I wanted to talk to you about uh, the 12 days of Gearsmas. Which, I don't know if you guys play Gears or not, but for those who don't, basically there's uh, 12 events leading up to uh, Christmas with different events and different modes each day. And yeah, so they start um, probably today actually, uh, the 13th. Uh, the same time uh, Ram Shadow, the latest DLC, comes out, uh, campaign DLC. So basically what I'm going to do now is uh, run through each day and uh, keep you informed of what's happening. Uh, this is on, um, I don't know if it actually has a name, but the uh, live stream that Rob Ferguson had done this morning. And basically just went through everything. Okay, so let me just bring this up and I'll start. Okay, so... Don't worry about the gameplay too much, it's just uh, whatever I had laying around on my laptop. I don't have much gear stuff on here, so you have to do with that. Yeah, basically I'm going to fill it up with annotations anyway, so it doesn't really matter. For the first day of Gearsmas, aka today, and I think this comes live about 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time for Americans, I think. It's in about 3 hours according to my laptop. Okay, so basically the first day... Uh, the the effect is uh, free fortifications, uh, level one fortifications for um, for horde, and there's going to be apparently lots of uh, gift boxes. So whenever you complete a challenge, you know how you get a box. Essentially, I think it's probably just going to be a large amount of those. And the event uh, Brothers to the End, which has been running for for yeah over the weekend, it's going to actually uh, extend for one more day, which is the two v two playlist. And now it's actually on all the maps now, not just the uh, the booster pack uh, maps. Okay, the second event is uh, is going to be uh, they're going to turn friendly fire on. So basically, everyone has to be really careful <laughs> because obviously uh, Gears is a game where friendly fire is turned off. So obviously, you can't hurt your teammates whenever you shoot them. So that's going to be turned on. And the event is going to be Talkbo Tag, which I think from memory was the second the second event uh, Gears weekend. That was really fun. Basically, what it is is just uh, the game with just Talkbos. And it, yeah, I really enjoyed that actually. It's my second favorite to um, boom snipes. Uh, the third day, it, its effect is going to be uh, big head. So it's going to be everyone's going to have big heads. I'm sure everyone's seen that at some point. And the event is going to be can you dig it, which is uh, the digger, the digger focused event. Uh, the fourth day is uh, clock shots and diggers, which no <laughs> doesn't sound like a very good combination, but we'll see how that goes. And the uh, the basically the event uh, the next event runs from uh, four to six, which is Hardcore Weekend, which I'm sure everyone's uh, familiar with Hardcore Weekend. It runs from uh, yeah four to six, so you'll be able to see it on the screen anyways. The fifth day is gonna be uh, Locus in Beast Mode are gonna be cheaper, so if anyone's looking to getting some sort of uh, Beast achievements, it's probably the time to do it because yeah, it's basically it. all the Locus gonna be cheaper. So I don't know if there's any sort of uh, difficulty increase or anything, but yeah, that's all. It's that he basically mentioned. And again, Hardcore Weekend's still going. Uh, day 6 is going to be Tickers and Flame Boomers. So a lot of explosions. And I believe you said in Horde there's going to be a lot of uh, Flame Boomer challenges. So that's basically shooting two Flame Boomers in the uh, tanks to make them explode. And again, Multiplayer Event is still Hardcore Weekend. Uh, day 7 is going to be King of the Hill with Comet Mutator on. Which I don't know if any of you has actually seen the Comet Mutator, but it's quite cool. Basically, uh, when you uh, roadie run, you just sort of, yeah, has a sort of a common effect. Uh, the multiplayer event for that day, uh, for both, actually, day 7 and day 8, is our Boom Snipes, which is my favourite multiplayer event so far. Really, really fun. Basically, it's uh, uh, snipers and boom shots only. Really, really cool. Uh, day 8 is one that everyone's going to love, is uh, four times experience. Over, I think it's over all game types, I think. It might not just be multiplayer. He didn't actually mention. And boob snipes is still going to be going on. Uh, this one, however, you might want to stay away from, is um, day 9. There's going to be in Horde, there's going to be Berserkers on every wave with Laughing Track Mutator turned on. So, okay. Berserkers, pain in the ass to kill. They're normally on the boss waves. Apparently going to be every wave, so... I think I'm going to be staying away from Horde for that day. With Laughing Track turned on, which is worse. Which is basically the, uh, the stereotypical... Yay! Thing from like sitcoms and stuff playing on the background every time something dies, which might get annoying. Uh, and the multiplayer event for that is uh, this is my rifle, which was that was last week's I think, which is just yeah, basically no shotguns. 
Uh, day 10 is going to be uh, sort of the lambent themed day. Uh, basically, there's going to be a lot of polyps, former humans, and uh, lambent bosses in Horde. And this is my rifle would still be on for that day. Uh, the 11th day of Christmas, or Christmas Eve, if you will, is going to be uh, Snowman's Heads Are Poppin', it's called. Which I assume everyone's going to have Snowman Heads or something like that. I didn't actually quite... He didn't quite mention it uh, properly, so... Uh, and thanks, Thanksgiving is going to be on that day, so that's basically uh, all boom shots uh, replaced by clock shots. And uh, the 12th day of Christmas, which is, of course, uh, Christmas Day, is going to be... Uh, all mortars spawn, so basically every spawn is going to be a one-shot mortar. And the uh, multiplayer event is going to be one-shot, one-kill, which is basically, yeah, all mortars and uh, one-shots, I believe. Oh, wait a second, I've got I to gotta listen to this part. This is one of my favorite quotes from the game. Oh, Baird. Baird is the best character in the game. I, he's my favorite. Him and Dizzy. Okay, uh, I've taken too much of your time already. Uh, I'll let you guys go. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.